Yo, what is going on you guys? B Jack here. Today I will be bringing you guys another YouTube video. And in today's video, I'll go back to talking about basketball and not my stitches. Okay? <laughs> so let's get into this. First thing I'm probably going to talk about is the NBA rankings that I saw on IndyStar.com. Um, like, I saw the Eastern Conference, not the Western Conference. What? So, I'll just rank, like, the best teams who I think is going to be really good next year in the West and the East. Um, or at least solid. Okay, let's start off with the Golden State Warriors because they added DeMarcus Cousins. And they already have Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, and Steph Curry. Wow. A stacked team, right? Yeah. Anyways, the Rockets... Because they took the Warriors to seven games last year, but they're not going to do that this year. Sorry, Rockets fans. <laughs> um, because, you know, I don't know, they still have Quinn Capella, they still have James Harden. Yes, they did lose Trevor. That, that you, um. They did lose Trevor Ariza. Which will do some damage, but not enough to, you know, them for them not to, you know, be decent or good. Because I still think they're going to be good, top notch, a great team in the Western Conference. And then we go and look at the Lakers, of course, because they added LeBron James. LeBron James, which is just. The best player in the league right now, pretty much, you know? You can argue James Harden. But I'll say LeBron James. Yeah, and they also added, like, a couple other pieces, like Lance Stevenson. Also, I'm sorry if I'm forgetting about your favorite Western Conference team. But I, I just can't think right now, so I'm just going to move on to the Eastern Conference. Okay, the Eastern Conference. The Indiana Pacers, because they added Tyreek Evans, and they already did pretty good last year and brought... LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers to a Game 7 with not a very stacked team. Um, anyways, then we're going to go to the Washington Wizards who added Dwight Howard and John Wall and Bradley Beal won't really... They might have injury problems next year, but, you know, you can't predict the future. If they're all healthy and all well, including Dwight Howard, they'll be a very solid team next year. And then we can talk about the Toronto Raptors, who traded for Kawhi Leonard and DeMar DeRozan. They'll still be pretty good, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about that down below in the comments. But I, I think they'll still be good. Alright, and then we move on to the Milwaukee Bucks, who have, of course, Giannis Antetokounmpo, who I think will have, he'll be like top three in MVP running next year. That's my opinion, though. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Anyways... Let's move on even more to the Boston Celtics, who, you know, was good last year, but they just they had an unhealthy team. That's why they lost in the Eastern Conference Finals, because I actually think they would have won if they, they had, you know, that, that you, um, a healthy team. Okay, and then, dude, I know I'm forgetting a team. Oh, yeah, the 76ers who have a young team that's going up there and they're getting better every single year now, which is great, and Joel Embiid is just a great player. All right, so that's it for the rankings. Now let me talk about, you know, Joel Embiid. Speaking of Joel Embiid, let me talk about Joel Embiid wanting to run for the MVP or to be the MVP next year. I don't think he will, let's be honest. I don't even think he'll be top three. I'm not trying to dog on him. I think he's a great player. But I just, I don't see next year him being MVP. Like, honestly, no. I mean, I can see Giannis, LeBron James, of course, and James Harden getting up there. But, and Anthony Davis, you know. But not Joel Embiid. I'm sorry, Sixers fans, but no. I don't think he'll be MVP next year. Sorry to blow your bubble, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I should cut that out of the video. I probably will end up cutting that out of the video. Nope. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button because we're going for five likes on this video. And subscribe if you are new because I have to hit 200 subscribers soon. Or you will step on a Lego tomorrow. Uh, I'll also cut that out of the video because that was cringy. Nope. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.